So last fall, after 11 attempts, the student government at the University of Michigan Ann Arbor finally passed a resolution demanding the school divest from Israel. The students had some outside help, but the resolution itself likely won't even matter. Here's why. At the University of Michigan, the pro-Palestinian group isn't called Students for Justice in Palestine, but don't worry, it uses words that are equally as benign and benevolent sounding. According to watchdog group Canary Mission, the group's called Students Allied for Freedom and Equality, which is a little ironic considering that the progressive equality of outcome often gets in the way of freedom. And aside from speaking out for the school to stop doing business with companies like HP and Boeing that support Israel themselves, the, this group also brought in outside anti-Israel professionals. One of the speakers was Sabri Wazwaz, who has said this is for Palestine, Ramallah, West Bank, Gaza. It's about time you globalize the Intifada, referring to the Palestinian uprisings that cost thousands of Israeli and Palestinian lives. Wazwaz also compared Zionists to Nazis and Palestinians to Jews and attended solidarity rallies for Palestinian terrorist Razmia Oda, who masterminded a bombing that murdered two college students. Saif also invited former Stanford SJP president Christian Davis Bailey, who got arrested for participating in a police brutality protest that resulted in traffic accidents. And get this, UMich history professor Victor Lieberman wanted to bring a more balanced perspective to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, but Saif prevented him from speaking at the hearing, claiming that it wouldn't be fair because pro-divestment professors were apparently too scared to speak up. But while she signed the resolution, UMich student government president Anushka Sarkar said that this wasn't true because 20 professors at the school had signed a statement supporting divestment. Some of these professors were tenured and could have spoken along with Lieberman. Still, it's not as though the divestment resolution actually matters. The UMich administration said, we appreciate hearing from students, but went on to note that the university's longstanding policy is to shield the endowment from political pressures and to base our investment decisions solely on financial factors such as risk and return. UM's Board of Regents was even more blatant, saying it strongly opposed the BDS movement. And I'm pretty sure the student activists knew these positions all along. You would think that if the issue really mattered to them, they'd maybe consider transferring schools. But of course, leftists never did have a good understanding of the free market. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshaw. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.